Good evening everybody and oh, welcome to the video. This is lab number three where we are going to put everything together. So this lab we are going to make a GraphQL backend with AWS AppSync. So we are going to use a custom Lambda here. Uh, so the goal of the task here is to essentially query MongoDB Atlas and essentially develop a GraphQL backend. Excited, right? So all the things that we have learned in lab one and lab two, everything together. I'll show you the code, the infrastructure code and the actual working. So let's get started. All right. So uh, by the way, if you do not have a free account on MongoDB Atlas, I recommend you go to um, just go to Google, type in MongoDB Atlas and you know, you can create a free uh, Atlas cluster for free, right? So here you can see, you know, I have uh, documents here in, in the sample data set. For example, let's say I take this document, right? So now what I can do is I can come here to my GraphQL API, I can call and I can get all the data, right? Absolutely fantastic, right? So for example, let's say I only need the account ID. Okay, query only what you need. So that's the beauty about GraphQL. There's a lot going on in this video, I must say that. So let's get started with uh, the video. So the first thing that I'll do is I'll walk you over the project structure. This is gonna be lab number three. So you have an env file, a lambda function, you have a requirements.txt and the serverless.yml file. So hopefully this should make sense, right? These are all the files that I have. And let me just adjust my computer a bit. Okay, so hopefully you guys can see, right? Now, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start with serverless.y. First of all, I'll start with the requirements. I have two Python files. I want to create a layers for my on my Lambda functions, right? So here is all the code for that. Okay, let's go dive into that, okay? Use .env, we are providing a service name, we are providing a framework. Uh, over here, we are providing, uh, you know, the runtime, the memory, and all the other meta informations, right? Uh, then plugin, we are using two plugins here, uh, serverless app sync plugin and serverless Python requirements plugin. Over here, uh, we have uh, two items in the custom section. One is the uh, Python requirements. So if you observe, I'm creating a layers for MongoDB, basically PyMongo. Uh, this is compatible with Python 3.7, uh, right? So uh, I'm doing that. Here I'm defining my app sync. So here is my uh, name of the API. Uh, here I'm defining schema.graphql, so I'll show you that quickly, schema.graphql. Here I have an account, so essentially I made the schema. So I went to MongoDB Atlas and I copied one of the document and essentially I made the schema here. So I have following attributes here in the, my MongoDB documents. Uh, this is an ID, account ID, limit and product. Here I'm defining my type query. I'm saying that this will take an ID and it's gonna return an account object, right? Or a GraphQL, whatever you wanna call, right? Now, once that is done, uh, back to the serverless.yml file, authentication is API key, so I'm gonna use API key to authenticate. Uh, here I'm defining uh, my mapping template, so here I'm saying get account ID, which is inside schema.graphql, right? So, uh, as you can see here, right, I'm de defining my mapping template here, and then I'm defining my data source. Data source is gonna be my custom lambda function, right, which is Again, this should be familiar from lab number two. We already covered that. And here I have my Lambda function, uh, as you can see. I'm also saying ref Python uh, requirements Lambda layer, which means this is gonna uh, reference that layer that has been generated. And this is gonna put the ARN over here. These are my environment variable, which are coming from the ENV file. Now, taking a uh, look at the Lambda function, how I made my GraphQL backend, so uh, here I have um, all the imports that I defined here, right? After that, I have a simple function that essentially creates a client object, a MongoDB client object. If not, then it returns an uh, none object. Here is my Lambda function, as you can see, handler. If this is, if the event um, dot, uh, info dot get field name is equal to, equal to a get account ID, which, match, which matches from my schema dot GraphQL over here, then what I do is basically I grab the arguments, I grab the document ID, then I query my MongoDB Atlas here, right? Uh, after I query, I uh, serialize the data and I return the data back, uh, back, right? So all of that is happening. There's a lot going on, okay? Uh, my, again, I gave you an overview, looks like easy, but try this up personally, you will stumble a lot, right? 
Again, I was able to do this all within 30 to 35 minutes, right? Including the MongoDB Atlas, right? I was able to spin up um, an Atlas cluster quickly, right? Uh, now what I'm gonna do is uh, here, again, any document that I get, get, right? For example, let's say this, right? So here the, uh, we have these three items, right? So let's try this, right? So coming to my app sync. Uh, so what I can do is I can click on create and then I can essentially select all the fields that I require. And uh, let's try to query this document, okay? So I'll provide this one, click on the orange button and sure enough that works fantastic, right? Absolutely great, right? The last but not the least, I want to show you how to query this, how to query the GraphQL uh, in Python. So this is lab number one. I did cover that in the lab number one. I'll simply dump the query over here, right? And what I need to do is I need to go to the settings sec section. Then I need to copy the uh, API URL. I'll go to the env variable. I'll replace it over here. And then I need my API key, which is gonna be over here. And that's pretty much it. Now I am here and I can execute my GraphQL in Python, right? Uh, I did talk about all these in the lab one, right? So now here you can see I am able to query my GraphQL backend in Python. I can also query uh, from AppSync console, right? And this is querying my MongoDB or Mongo Atlas, uh, right? All right, so I really hope you guys have enjoyed this tutorial. As I said, there's a lot going on with this tutorial, right? A custom Lambda for the data source, right? An app sync, uh, AWS app sync, right? We are hosting our GraphQL backend there, right? It's querying the MongoDB Atlas that we essentially have hosted there. It's absolutely free. And uh, then in the Lambda function, we are using layers, PyMongo, right? There's, there's a lot, lot, lot of lot of thing going on in this lab, right? I hope you have really enjoyed these lab. These labs are not on YouTube. Nobody has these sort of detailed lab which shows everything, including the infrastructure code, right? So please go forward, download the lab, play with it, learn and explore, right? If you're not gonna download and do it yourself, you're not gonna learn. So I strongly advise you guys to try it out, okay? With that being said, I hope you have enjoyed all the three videos on AppSync. If you did, please let me know in the comment section. And with that being said, keep smiling, keep programming, keep learning new things. As I keep saying, knowledge is power, and I'll see you guys.